everyone um, I am just setting up a new channel that I am going to do things like makeup and nail tutorials and maybe some art and crafty bits that I can show you on a video so today I am going to show you a look to do with a smoky glittery eye which will be a full face makeup too so that will be on top so I just want to say that I am not a makeup artist in any way. I am not promoting any of these products. I'm literally just showing you how I do a makeup look that you might be interested in too. So I'm going to get on with the look now. So what I'm going to start first with is to prime my face. So what I'm going to start using is the Nivea for Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm, which you can see here. I know this sounds a bit insane, but another YouTuber I like watching actually uses this, so I'm going to give it a go. So I take it out of the box, and literally all you do is just put the smallest amount on your fingers and then just tap it into your other fingers and then just tap it into your face like so and just tap it all around because it's for men it does not smell the manly sort of smell so it is quite a nice sort of texture and it smells quite fresh a bit more just tap that in just roll it into your head just over my eyebrows, down my nose. Obviously, do not put this over your eyes because that is quite dangerous because it's only just to prep the skin for the foundation. Let that obviously stay in for a couple of minutes or seconds just to let it sort of go sort of tacky ish. So, once you have done that, we will go on to doing my eyes first because I do not like doing my eyes and then I'm doing my foundation and then doing my eyes and then I have fallout so I'm going to do my eyes first so that I can sort out the fallout and then do my foundation really now I take the Max Factor Cold Pencil in 020 black and all I'm going to do is just put it on my bottom waterline and my top waterline. So we'll just do that like so. Be very careful when you do that because you do not want to paint yourself in the your eye. Right, so that's all done. The next bit I'm going to do is my eyeshadow and prime my eyes first. So I'm going to use this primer and ready illuminating and reviving eye primer from collections. Take a little bit, tiniest bit and just put it onto your eye, into the middle, do the other eye. So you're going to let it set and just do the other eye and then go back to the eye that you put on first and just wrap it in maybe go a little bit higher so then you get a good blend of eyeshadow and then just go to the other side and do the same with that side so that is that done so we'll let that a couple of seconds go in. The next I am going to use is this MUA Burning Ember Burning Embers palette, and there are like colours like this, which are quite pretty. Which I think these are quite new palettes actually. So we'll just open that up. And I'm just going to take a brush to go a nice equal shade 
over the top to make it all blend in. So the shade I am actually going to go with is this very banana colour up here. And then I'm just going to take a, um, a Real Techniques brush and it's called Base Shadow Brush. And I'm just going to take that all over my lid and take it all over your lid like that. And blend it all in and blend it at the top and in the crease. And wherever you basically put your primer. Take the brush again, get some more product. Basically the following eye and take it up so it looks like this as you can see. So the next colour I am going to go for and brush. The brush is the Real Techniques one again and this is a deluxe crease brush which is a very brush like that. I'm sorry they're dirty but uh, I will take in this palette this brown colour to start off with take a very little bit because it's only going to go in your crease just tap it off if you've got too much and basically go right to the corner and just spread it on and then go into the grease just back and forth like so sorry can't see I'll see in a minute when I do the other eye so you just take minimum amount tap it off and then go into the crease and then go back and forth just like that just to deepen it up as you can see so just wipe that off a little bit and then the next colour we are going to go for is this brown colour so it's a little bit darker tap it in there just get a little bit of product very small amount and then just do again what you did a minute ago and then back and forth like so and then get a little bit more and do the other eye and you're just basically gradually making the crease with a little bit of depth we'll go back and there we go so it's just sort of giving you some depth if you can see and then we are just going to go for an even darker shade now and we are going to go for this bottom brown one just tap a little bit in there and then just take a little bit and then go back in again and the windscreen wiper motion into your crease a little bit up and then do your other eye a little bit on your corner and then into your crease just make sure it's quite even like so which is quite nice right so once you have done all that then I'm going to gradually go in with some shimmer now, which is shimmer glitter. And I'm going to go a little bit darker and a little bit lighter in the middle corner. So the first one I'm going to use, I'm using a Barry M brush. It hasn't got no name on it. It is literally just a little, little brush like that. And I'm going to take on the Burning Embers palette this quite shimmery sort of rose gold colour and then I'm just going to take my brush get a bit of product tap off if it's got too much on it and then literally I'm just going to go in the middle of my eye and all I'm doing is like a tapping motion and make sure you go to the corner of your eye near your nose because what we're going to do is then blend another shade in but make sure you go over that dark brown as well as much shimmer as possible you 
you can see that, just like that. Then just tap on a little bit more on the other side just to make it even. If you're finding this hard as well to make it even, basically pull your eyelash down very, very gently and just tap it on so you can see that you're getting an even coverage. It's just basically a little technique I found to make sure I'm doing it correct. So once you've got that, I'm just going to put a little bit more on just to go into the corner a little bit. So watch it on this side. Sorry if I'm opening my mouth, but that's the face I do when I do my makeup. So once you've done that, I'm going to go into a lighter shade. And this is from the MUA collection, but this is their single um, eyeshadows, and this is called Misty Rose. Very pretty colour. It's like a very pale pink. So you just take the same brush, do exactly the same, take a little bit of product, and then we we'll put it into the corner now, like so. And all you want to do is just put it into the other colour a little bit, just to sort of get a blending motion going on. And then do the other eye. Pretty, as you can see. Very, very pretty. So, as the crease, this sort of colour has come out, so you just go back into your with your crease brush that you used originally, just take um, the darker shade that we did, but very, very little, otherwise you'll take some of that shimmer out and basically just go back into the crease with it, like so, and then do it the other side. So it's very pretty. So the next thing we're going to do is a little eyeliner over the top of the lashes and I'm going to use the Miss Sporty Miss Sporty Studio Lash The Meow and it's very very cute. It has little little gaps on it which I think is very very cute. So you just get this open and it has the most smallest nib ever on the end which is really good because it can get close to the lashes put in my eyeliner on which I'm going to just do in this mirror just do a very thin line at the top but just make sure it is very even like the like so I'm just going to do the other lash now. Right, I've finished the eyeliner. As you can see, it's a very thin little line. No winged or nothing. Just very thin. So the next thing I'm going to do is put on some mascara and I use two mascaras which are two I'm going to show you now are the Max Factor the Luscious False Lash Effect it's in this green and gold packaging the brush literally comes out really thick and all you're going to do is basically from the root of your eye to the lash just to get some volume and I'll just do that now and show you. So like so. Just pick it up and get some volume. And go to the corner with your corner bit and just go. Like so. I'm not going to use it for my bottom lashes because 
it's too thick. So you just get some more product. I do the other eye. You just pick as much up as you can. So the next mascara I'm going to use is this, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara in 100% Black. It's in this yellow and black bottle. And all I'm going to use is it for my under lashes. Like so. And just the corners. And then that's basically all done with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is stick on my lashes. Which I'm using the Ardell ones in the natural ones. Where they look very pretty like that. Obviously you can see I've used them before. And they're in the 120 Demi Black. So you just get that. Get an eyelash. And we're going to use the Clear White duo glue this is really good glue I use this duo glue like that like so and just take that on my lash on the top like so and then just wave it about a little bit blow on it So it comes a little bit tacky and then as it's short at one end and longer the other I'm just going to stick it on this eye and stick it on there and just leave it to let it dry for a couple of minutes like so and then just try and position it onto your eye. That's good as possible as you can. Obviously get it close to the eyelashes. Once you have got both eyelashes on as you can see, we will go in with your foundation and everything else. So go far, I'm gonna start all this with correct pens which are from the PS range in Primark so I have got the under eye circles one and I have got the corrects redness which will do your spots and stuff so we did a spots one first the only spots you got I've got quite a few as you can tell I'm not sure you're happy about that but hey ho A little bit under your nose, a bit of red there, um, a little bit on there, and just anywhere that you've got redness, like so. So the next lot I'm going to do is the yellow one, which is the under eye corrector. Little triangle, just a little sweep like that. Right, so the brush I'm going to use today to put this all in blended all that in I'm going to so you just start with under eyes just put a little bit of pressure on the brush I am using is the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush just blend all that really nicely in and so foundation right so I've done that now I am going to do so now I'm going to do my foundation I'm going to use the Real Techniques Beauty Blender and the foundation I am going to use is Estee Lauder Double Wear and this is in my colour which is Desert Beige so it comes like this so what I'm going to do is just put it on a little foundation brush to put it all over my face and then I'll blend it with a beauty blender which this is a Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of product like so and just put that on my face in bits like so That's it 
like that. Just take a little bit more product. And then just do it at the bottom. And on the cheeks. And then we'll wear, I think, foundation needs to go like so. You get your beauty bender and then you just dab it into your face to get an even sort of texture. Just dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. Dab it. Keep dabbing till it is all blended in. Blend, blend, blend. That is the technique for this. Keep up my nose, the under my nose. Do it like so. Just keep blending. Blend, blend, blend as much as you can it is all gone into your skin like so just let that set for a couple of minutes once the foundation is settled in for a few minutes then we will go on to concealer the concealer i'm using today is the last imperfection um, collection one in number one fair so I'm going to use that today and all I'm going to use this is just put it under my eyes and let me try and go again like so and then just put it on Eyebrows as well as you can see. I'm going to blend that in. I'm going to use a little beauty blender that I got in a full pack from Primark, and I'm just going to blend that in. That's it. Just get right into where it's meant to go. And on your forehead and that's that done next thing i'm going to do is do my contouring i am going to use the flawless cheeks contour cream from barry m in this sort of bay brown color and then i am going to use the flawless cheek contour cream highlighter so how i do my contour for my cheeks i literally pierce my cheek lips together and then I go and then you can see your cheekbone and all I'm going to do is go up to the corner of my eyebrows so it's dagging me so all I'm going to do is like and then I'll do it on the other side right up to there do a little bit more on that side, a little bit more on that side, and then I'm just going to do my forehead. So I start from the middle, come round to the corner of my eyebrow, and then just go blend a bit of ends to the corner of the eyebrow. Same again, corner of the eyebrow, like so. Down my jawbone, good length, same side, just make sure they're even, and then I'm going to just do down my nose. Like so, like so. They're a bit messy, but it can blend it in. Then I am going to use the highlighting one, and just use a little bit of this in the areas that I want to be highlighting. Which is with my forehead, down my nose, tops of cheeks, in between me, you put your jaw bone and your cheekbone, and a bit on your chin. The brush I am going to use to do my contouring is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. 
and a little oval brush I got from Primark. This I'm going to use to do my nose, so I'll do my nose first. So you just go like that, just blend it in, like so, and just drag it down. And then you do the other side, just rub it in a bit, and blend it in. Then you make your nose smaller. Now I'm going to do the highlighting first because I like my contour to blend into the highlighter. So you just smooth it all out. Every bit of highlight you have got, you just blend out. And then you can use it to do any correction. A little bit here, a bit in the middle. Down your chin. Other side, up there, just wipe that off, and then you're going to do your, con your actual contour. So blend it in and just make a shadow with the product, and that's what you want. Just keep blending in. Do it the other side. Blend, blend, blend again. Then you have got a nice this contour going on. And you take bones, go your hairline, go your jawbone. A bit muddy, so just blend it in. Like that. It looks a bit muddy, just keep blending it with the brush. So it's all blended in, like so. So, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use the powder contour, the Revolutions Ultra Pro, Pro HD Powder Contour. And this is from light to medium so I'm gonna lighten up my face with some powder I'm gonna use the real techniques contour brush and I'm just gonna use the highlight is this banana color here dab it in take it off just go and put highlight in the first place take some more Underneath, there we go. It's good for corrections this as well if you've done your contour a bit too much. Just a bit over. Okay, a bit on my forehead, just to make that a little bit lighter. Like that. Then I'm gonna go in with this medium sort of brown shade take a very small amount and then pout again and make your own two cheekbones and all you have to do is just blend it in. like so take a little bit on the other side and blend it in if you do a mistake this way and take it down too much and go back into the banana and as you can see it magically takes it out again which is good next thing I'm going to do is just finish off my eyes and I've let that all set in and I'm just going to take off the harsh lines and I am just going to take another clean crease brush and take a very light colour that we started with and just take that and just put it with my eyebrow is just to take off the harsh lines 
and we can put it under your eyebrow. Take it on the other side, take it down into the corner, take it over any harsh line you see and blend as much as possible and just do that and it will take that very harsh line out that you don't want as you can see. Now I'm going to use the NYX HD finishing powder which is like that and it's in translucent and all I'm going to do is take my Real Techniques a multitasker brush like this just dip it in tap it off and I'm going to put most of the product I wear I put my concealer and dap it under your eyes and so again tap off concealer and then basically put it wherever the powder didn't go so take it off again and so like that into your chin and just like so. I am just gonna smoky my eye underneath so I am gonna use the colour from this Burning Embers palette which is just that colour we used on the eye so I'm just gonna take a little bit of product and just go under the eye like so and then I am just going to take it onto the other eye. So it's all smoked out like that. So I have obviously set my face, I have done it with a powder and other things. So now I'm going to go on to eyebrows. I am going to use this little Barry M's brush. It's very slanted, like that, and I'm going to use the So Susan Jewel Brow Powder, like that. And this is broke, I'm so sorry, but I'm just going to use the lighter one on my brows. And just take a little bit of product, tap it off, and then just fill your brows in. When you get to the front, I take it up, like so and just fill them in and then just take a little bit more product and do the end just to make them a little bit thicker like that and then just do it the other side get to the front, just go up and then go along again to the end and then just blend any product you've got into your brow so I'm just going to again you think I'm even or going to cover the bit and just do it like that so next I'm going to do highlighter and I am going to use the body shop fan brush and I am going to use this so sleek solstice palette which is like this very pretty and open it up and I am going to use this goldy sort of colour here take it on your fan brush like so and then put it to your cheek just here and just up here and you can put as much as you like on and it like that shimmer take a little bit more and then do the other side top of the cheek bone and then just down the side like that just do a little bit more on that side and then just do a little bit more on this side just to even it up. As you can see, it's very bling bling. Now I've gone on to lips. I've already prepped them with this Nivea lip balm and I'm just going to go in 
with a lip liner pencil from the PS range from Primark and it's sort of a colour like that. So I'm just going to go for a very dark strong lip. So I'm just going to lip line my lips. Like so. Do make a little mistake for me, but he's a very nice lip liner, so very soft. What I'm going to use for my lip is um, another one from the PS range from Primark, and this is a Velvet Matte Lip Crayon, and this one is called Hustle. So it's like that. Just going to put that on my lips. Pierce your lips together just to and the last thing you're gonna do is just spray your face and I'm gonna use the collections fix me up long lasting makeup fixer it's only a little bottle like this just take that just spray it all over your face so, keep it for a couple of minutes just to steam into your face. And I'm just going to take my hair down. And that is the look that you have got today. And it is very pretty. And I do love the lip colour. And it is very, very nice. And that is the eyeliner uh, and shadow. And this is my look for today. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you liked watching this video, give me a thumbs up. That would be brilliant. And please subscribe to my channel as down below. Thanks for watching again. And I will see you soon. Bye.